They have those sad donkey eyes and the beautiful donkey face. Yes, they're stubborn and they do bite. So you want to keep your arms, legs, elbows, and everything inside the bus. Now, on really hot days when there's a lot of bugs flying around, they'll come right up to the bus and lay up against the side of it because the vibrations chase the flies away. Now, you may notice some of them have numbers on their runs, and it's for record keeping for when we when they do have uh, medical procedures or treating. Uh, yes, and they are stubborn, like donkeys. Number 11 last year, maybe 15 minutes late, because she laid on the front bumper and refused to move. Mm -hmm. so we had to wait for the animal management folks to kind of coax her around. Now, they do live in the desert. Uh, of course, the part of the world they live in has been almost in a constant state of warfare now for thousands of years. So their numbers in the wild are dwindling. Uh, very little evidence that they've ever been domesticated. And being a member of the horse family, they're actually quite fast. And I've been told that they are capable of speeds up to 42 to 43 miles an hour. Mm. Which is supposed to be faster than some racehorses. Interesting. So I really thought about taking one down to Churchill Downs. And Let's I, see how they do in the Kentucky Derby. Jockeys, so now they're social animals, so they'll preen each other. We don't trim their manes or tails. Uh, but the only time we intervene is when we see some problems with their hooves. And there's a gentleman named Adam on the animal management staff who is a barrier and he takes really good care of all of our hood animals. Now since today is a little on the cooler side, they really don't have much interest in our bus. 